I got to meet the very awe-inspiring Noam Chomsky, the world's most cited academic, leading public intellect and a human rights activist. His contributions to linguistics, psychology, politics and scientists. How mentally active can you get? This year he became the recipient of the 2011 Sydney Peace Prize and made a friendly visit to the western burbs of the cultural melting pot of Cabramatta. Who want to advocate peace? What's some of the simple things even kids can do? She, she works for a disadvantage of um, children who wanted to know. Amazed at how many letters they get every night asking that question. I mean, the first thing young people have to do is find out who they are. Um, it's a search. You, know, you don't know who you are when you're just going to have to try a lot of things. Find out what your interests are, what your concerns are, what your commitments are, uh, what kind of life you want to lead. And a lot of exploration and research that you know. And as that search proceeds, you will figure out for yourself what you want to do. I mean, I never gave advice like that to my own children. And if I had given it, they would have been smart enough not to listen. <laughs> well, they found their own ways. It surprised me. It was a terrific way to like very much it. But uh, they had to figure it out for themselves. But we all did. Nobody can tell you how to do it. And also, what, what has been one of the most challenging moments in your life? Is this right? I grew up as a child as a political activist long before I got to college. And then I finally got to college and into a professional work in that family. It's a nice life. And then around 1960, I had to make a decision whether to get back into active political activism. And the Vietnam War was put in because I know once you put your foot in, uh, you're in deep water. You can't get out again. What do you think of Norm? He's a very inspiring guy. Thoroughly inspired. Any, Kept the realm. Any points that you really picked on? Mm. When he, what he said? That we're responsible for all the things that the last generation have left us. All the wars. All the problems in the world, you know, we can't we can't blame them for, for all of that. We just got to accept the responsibility that we can make a change now and make a difference. Do you know what I mean? So we have that weight on our shoulders, and it's time to step up and just make a difference. Don't blame anyone. Just do it.